I mean, I read your post and you said, you know, you can be meditating and you can manifest a lot of things, but as a psychologist, you've also, and a therapist, you've also seen a lot of things in the toolbox. Mm -hmm. Do you Mm -hmm. want to enlighten me on what that meant? Like we, we look at things as we can manifest and, you know, we can be spiritual and all these things, but that's only one part of it. That's not everything. Totally. Yeah. I think that the, I think the complex thing about human beings is that what works for me is not going to work for everybody else. Right. And so part of, part of it is, I think a big part of our journey is some self-awareness. Um, I think self-awareness for anybody um, is going to, is going to help you because the more awareness you have of, of what you're feeling and what you potentially need and um, what are the things that drain you? What are the things that, that help you to feel good? Then you know better how to listen to yourself and how to sort of pull on what are the tools that I need that really benefit me. So they're different for everybody. But like I was saying, you know, for me, I can just go, I can go be in nature. I love baths. I can listen to music. Like there's lots of things that I know Um And I know when I need those certain things. Like I know when I'm feeling a certain way, this is what I have to do. And so I'm always, always trying to get to know myself better. And the reason for that is that I'm really the only person that can, that can change my life and change my perspective and um, grow and evolve and stretch my limits. So my path is always about self-awareness. Um, and the more self-aware I am, then the better I am at being able to meet my own needs and and communicate my needs to other people too. So, yeah, I think. Do you feel 